Welcome to the Nabis Kitchen. How are you all doing? I hope well. Let's make your Kagari a Ghanaian street food with black eyed beans, ripened plantain that have been fried, and zumi palm oil. Opening the parcel and the contents look so tempting and inviting. Let's learn how to put this together. First, you need two cups of black eyed beans for this recipe and soak it in some water for at least two hours. This step is highly recommended as it will ensure that your beans are rehydrated as they are bone dry before they are soaked. Also, that means that your beans will cook faster. Then you want to rinse it out. Pour it into the pot you're going to cook in. Add some water. And you want to add a lot of water in the beginning. Your water must be above the level of the beans at least two inches. Set it on the stove on medium low and place the lid on. Let it cook for the next 15 minutes or so. You're going to have to go in back and forth and check. Your ultimate goal is for the beans to become mashable. It looks perfectly tender, almost at the mashable state. So we cooked 35 minutes, all right, with the lid on. Stir and then add some salt to taste. The right time to season your beans with salt is when the beans have become tender. Place the lid on and turn the heat down to the lowest setting and continue to cook. Now, what we're gonna do is prepare the other components for this feast. So we have some ripened plantains. And we're just going to cut them into our preferred sizes here. Now the ripened plantains are going to be fried, so we'll need to season them with a little bit of salt, which is going in now. Now, you're also going to need to sprinkle a little bit of water onto the plantains so that the salt is spreadable. All right, we want every one of those plantains to be coated with the salt. Now the plantains are ready for the fry, but we must check on the beans. The beans have now been cooking a total of 40 minutes. They are perfectly mashable. So now you're just going to keep stirring it, using your spoon to crush a few of the beans and you should have this creamy texture. Cook with the lid on on the lowest heat setting for the next five minutes and your beans are now ready to be served. That's it. Time to fry the plantains in cooking oil but I like to fry some onions first for two reasons. One, to perfume the oil, and secondly, to use these crispy fried onions as garnish and to introduce another layer of flavor into our beans. You'll see what I mean, keep on watching. So set those on the side after placing them on a paper towel to soak the extra oil and then sprinkle a little bit of salt on them as well, just to season them. Now in the same oil that we have infused the onion flavor into, we're going to fry the plantains. Place them in gently, avoid splattering hot oil on yourself. What we want here is for the plantains to be fried to that golden brown color. Yeah, some people like it fried beyond this stage, so go for it. Do what you want, it is your food, all right? So look at these, that color looks great for me, so I go in and take them out and drain the excess oil into a paper towel, so line your bowl with a paper towel in order to soak in that extra oil. We're ready to serve, friends, and today I am going all out. Imagining myself on the streets of Ghana selling or buying gobe, yes. So they have it in the leaves because the leaves do something special to the beans. Sprinkle your gari, your uh, cassava flakes onto it. Top it up with a generous serving of your zumi, the oil and the toasty bottom as well. Don't forget your fried onions. I know you heard the crisp of these fried onions. Flavorful food, extreme flavor, friends. The quintessential Ghanaian street food.
include your must try and your must have. And nothing should prevent you from topping it up with some more Zumi oil, especially the base, that nutty base of it. And then add your plantains. To me, the Zumi, the base part of it is the cherry on top of this dish. Yes, so good. So savory, so crunchy, so toasty. It's perfection. Parcel it in the leaves, leave it for about five minutes if you can wait <laughs> and the leaves should do something really really special to your parcel of your kegari or gobe now don't waste any more time please go in and enjoy it yes the plantain is hot but this is how to enjoy it yeah you don't want to wait till it's cold it is enjoyable even more when it's hot. That's the right time to go for it. I hope you've learned a thing or two and I'm inspired to try this recipe, make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time, and here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friend. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. <laughs>